Warning, this video has images of a rodent infestation. Well, hello, hello. I'm not sure if you recall, but I had a problem down in my garage where some critter had decided to have an early Easter on the eggs that I was hiding away from my children. Down on the bottom layer here was one style of eggs. And I've picked one up here. I've got some protective gloves on because I believe whatever was eating these would be carrying diseases and whatnot. That's the sort of damage that I've got going on. And obviously, this critter loves a bit of sweet stuff. It likes to eat a lot by the looks of it. But as I found out, when I put a video camera on this last night, we're actually dealing with, well, a number of little critters. And it's quite surprising what goes on. In the middle of the night, down in your garage. As I explained in a previous video, I used to be a huge kinder collector. The toys inside used to be fantastic. I'm using the word used to be there very carefully. And each one of these, well, they, they vary in price. It's around two dollars. If you're lucky, you can pick them up for a dollar, depending what time of year you buy them. And, well, I don't know. Some people like them. I never liked the chocolate person myself, but it's pretty obvious whoever was coming in and having a meal well, I think he actually preferred the ones below. To be honest, if you look at what's going on underneath, there's more chocolate eaten there than what there is on this top layer. Well, let's take a look at what was recorded last night to see who was having a nibble at the chocolate. I'll show you very quickly how I captured the footage. I had an old camera that can see in the dark. I put the eggs in the spot where they were attacked the first night, which is a few nights back now. So it's a creature of habit that's doing this. I had got out an old um, DVD maker and it's also got a hard drive in there so it can record video and I've got a very old cheap screen to see what's going on. Okay so at about nine minutes after I'd gone inside a little pest has come out to inspect what's going on and he or she would know well hang on a second the night before I put out a little test biscuit to see what was being eaten and um, it's having an inspection of the box and it's being very wary because these creatures well their, their nature is to be very wary and that's why they're really good survivors. And just, uh, I think I recorded nine hours all up last night and this little critter had an absolute chocolate party. Well, after doing a good 10 minutes of inspection around the box, Elvis decides to enter the building. And Elvis stayed in there for a very long time. And if you look really carefully down in between those eggs, you can see Elvis munching and crunching away and having a really, really good time. I don't know how he can eat all this chocolate. Now, from what I can work out, there is only one little Elvis doing all this. But he's also got another little buddy, and that buddy will appear very soon. Every now and then, Elvis would come out for possibly a little poop stop. Who knows what this little critter gets up to. While Elvis is having his poop break, the cockroach from Chernobyl appears. And after some 20 minutes, Elvis decides to re-enter the building. And now he's in there with the cockroach from Chernobyl. And after another humongous amount of time in there munching and crunching away at chocolate at my expense, Elvis comes out for another toilet break. He must be busting. And after a toilet break of some 20 minutes, Elvis reappears. But are we seeing the same Elvis or are we seeing a game of rodent tag? And after another great big long stint of eating chocolate, he shoots off again. And just like clockwork, Elvis comes back after his toilet break. And down the middle there, you can see him having another feast. And we're seven hours into recording, so I know it's about maybe four or five o'clock in the morning that we're seeing this. I think I started off about ten. So this little rodent has had a feast of a time. And just like clockwork, he decides to have another toilet break. His comings and goings from this box is very regular indeed. And there's a few circles of the box again, and we're getting near the daylight hours now, up near six o'clock, and he goes in for another munch. And what is very interesting, we're coming up to the end of the night and the sun would be starting to bring out some light in the sky. He comes up to the top layer. So he's been munching out in that bottom layer all night on and off. And he's decided to have the different chocolate on top. So maybe that's his dessert. He's quite a discerning little character. And I'll tell you what, if it's the same little rodent who's been doing all this eating of the chocolate, it's quite amazing. And if ever you had one of these in your pantry, you'd certainly know of the damage that they can do and how difficult they are to remove. I've got a funny feeling this is the last we see of him for the night. Bye bye. We'll be seeing you again another night I'm sure. I'm sure some of you are wondering where was that Chernobyl cockroach through all the night. Well it did appear near the end 
and there it is it seemed to spend the whole night down in the bottom layer from what I can tell I didn't never see it on the top layer and it's had a huge feast as well well with the information that I gathered from one night of security footage I'm gonna have to set this box up with a different kind of surprise okay let's get a strategy and let's get a trap going first off I'm gonna get rid of these rat traps we're not dealing with a large rodent we are dealing with a small one and small ones tend to be really hard to get rid of I've used this style of trap before and it took some time we had a ma uh, mouse in the house and believe me it was infuriating to capture that I'm going to use peanut butter load these of peanut butter and I'm going to set this box up in a in a, oh, a different way a way that isn't going to hopefully make this little rodent think oh what's going on here something's very different I wanted to get into the box and I wanted to meet a whole bunch of them I've got gloves on because I want to keep the smell of me off the things that I'm setting up in that box what I'll do is I'll get rid of the bulk of the eggs and I've got to keep these because I've got a secret giveaway going on and I'm going to give away the toys inside these eggs to some very lucky person but I'm going to keep one egg as a lure probably that one there so we want a little bit of a nibble there and put the rest of these into the box okay I put some blue tack on the bottom of an egg and I'm going to put the egg in the box here and I'm going to be setting up some traps around this egg I'm going to load up these traps with some peanut butter and I'm using no name peanut butter because there'd be all sorts of angst if I had a brand name in the video and on the bottom of the trap I'm going to put some blue tack because I want the traps to be locked down in the box in the past I've had really good results by using peanut butter in fact I feel it was the only thing that ever worked and in the box I'm thinking of this pattern I've actually stood the egg up a bit and I'm thinking one in this corner one in that corner and one around this way remembering that he tends to come in by this low part of the box and once these are all open well the only way to get to the egg is via a mouse trap I'm well aware that I'm up against a little critter who is very savvy at well not getting caught a very wary critters and it may take quite a few attempts to nab this chocolate thief okay the chocolate trap is ready to go the camera is set on night shot and it's framed and the recording device will hopefully capture some action of that little rodent tonight and it's going to be a very different sort of surprise in that box